Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Burr. Welcome. Today, I'd like to get into Anjin. And we see it mostly in um, the form push in a Taiji form. But there's a specific Jin that is related to that. And just to re refresh your memory about Jin, Jin is a, it's a combination of Li, which is muscular force, and Qi, which is energy, and being able to find the appropriate amount of, of Qi or Li in any situation is part of the, the art of, of Taiji Chuan, it's that learning part of your Kung Fu is learning what is the appropriate ratio of Qi and Li in any situation. And you know, the higher we go on the on the Gong Fu scale, we the more Qi and less Li is, is involved. But we need to go through the muscular part in order to get to the other part. You can't just kind of imagine throwing people across the room with your mind and make it happen. Uh, at least I haven't seen that yet. It's not something that's in my particular uh, experience. But I do know that if you start very with a very substantial muscle-based approach and gradually increase your intention and gradually increase your ability to release and, and use your energy more, then you move in that direction. You move in the direction of that effortless competence. Let me just adjust this camera here a little bit. Yeah, okay. So um, came across a term which uh, which I like. It. It's sort of a way of uh, uh, combine a, a Chinese expression which combines two things which I consider to be elemental to to what we're doing here. And and one is Sung, which is releasing into the intrinsic support of your connective tissue. So you're trusting the tendons and ligaments and fascia. And by doing that, you're able to let go of muscular tension. So that's Sung. Then the other term is Fong, which is F-A-N-G, which it can be thought of as reaching or extending. You can also think of it as stretching. And so with Fong, what we're doing is we're lengthening the connective tissue. So in, in thinking of it in strictly in structural terms here. So the on the insubstantial level, Fong is extending your mind, extending your intention out. So, but in a... Uh, when we're thinking of it in uh, on more substantial level, we're saying, oh, the reaching lengthens the connective tissue. So put those two together, you have feng song, feng song, and, and, and what that means is that put them together, you're combining tensegrity with the releasing into the support of your connective tissue. And it doesn't really change anything about what we're doing, but it's just kind of one of those nice little tie-ins with the traditional literature that, uh, uh, I don't know, adds a certain authenticity to, to the whole process. We're not just making all this stuff up. It's actually been around and it's actually part of the, part of the canon, just you don't necessarily run across it uh, real easily. You have to you gotta kind of look under the uh, under the rocks to be able to find these these uh, little little tidbits. So if we to get that get that feng song, you you want to be able to release and extend and be able to reach you know and then when that does is it ties everything together. It creates a state of wholeness throughout the whole system. So and we're going to be going into Anjin. And we're going to feel into that when we're, we're playing with the Anjin, because it's a 
one of the more complex jins we played. So we so far we've covered a few of them. We we talked about Pong Jin, which is kind of an up and out, expansive kind of energy. Then we have Lu Jin, which is a kind of more of a down and in kind of receptive kind of energy. And then we have Qi Jin, which is you know press energy, and that's you know where they're we're extending out in a very young way with the arms but we're simultaneously going very yin with the with the uh, with the legs with the with the with the foundation so we're sinking in getting that very yin to produce the the counterbalance to the yang expression of the arms so now we're going to anjin and with that, we get Pong Lu Ji An as like the uh, the the four cornerstones of Tai Chi Chuan. And then we get into other other energies beyond that. But those are like the the primary ones. Those are like the cardinal points of the of the compass. So Pong Lu Ji An An is a little more complex in that it is. We think of it. We use the term push to uh, to talk about you know uh in, in the uh, the way we translate the uh into our, our forms we say oh you know we have you know ward off roll back press and push and with that comes a certain idea of um which i believe is counterproductive to actually experiencing the gin aspect because this is a real primal kind of kind of thing. It's something that that you know every kid does in the schoolyard. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. You know, and uh, there's a, a shoving away, and that is different than what we're trying to do with these gins. Because first of all, you know, the the shove usually is accompanied by a pushing away also from the earth. So we're disconnecting the root and we're kind of getting down. So we're going dialing the Lee, the muscular force, you know, back to like, you know, maximum and turning the Chi way down to minimum. And so the, the amount of gin, it's a really crude gin that we're talking about there. But if we, we change it, so we're going to take this, this on apart so that we can see the, the various components of it. So it's actually more of a compressing down and then out. So there's, you can think of it in a kind of a circular pattern where you're kind of going like this, you're down, pressing down and then uh, reaching out. So that's the, that's the pattern of the energy. But prior to that, and it's a, it's a real important point here I wanna, I wanna comment on, and that is when we're applying these chins, there is a quality of reaching rather than pushing away. So the way we connect up and actually establish the shift out of the muscle-based format, which that push away is kind of a, a fear-based kind of thing, whereas we're actually reaching out to connect. So the difference between a push and a reach, you know, is that desire to connect to something, you know, I reach out and touch my wrist. Okay, there's a desire to connect there. If I'm pushing my wrist, there's, there's a desire to disconnect. So in when we're going into Anjin, there's there is you're making contact and keeping that contact. You're sticking and adhering. You've reached out, you've you've established contact with the whatever it is you're you're doing. Let's say, let's say we're talking in a push hands context where you're reaching out, touching your partner, and you're making contact and you're drawing in and down and then up and out so that circle goes like that but it's there is a 
a continuous kind of stickiness that's going on with your hands. So that's what's happening up, up top. That's what's happening in your and you know your shoulders, your arms, your hands. Down below, we are getting very sung in the qua. So we're uh, sinking down because to be able to direct this energy in and down, we have to drop our energy. So you can't push away from the earth and, and get that same effect. It, you, you've disconnected from your source of yin chi, which is the earth. So we want to develop it. So I, I told you it's a kind of complex uh, jin, but understanding it actually improves your understanding of everything else. So it's well worth the time put into actually learning about it and then practicing it. Because in whenever you can do that, then you are moving the gin, the gin ratio way more to the chi side. And you're then able to translate that into the other other energies.